Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how-to video on how to set up a brand new Bitmain KS5 Pro or KS5. This is a Caspa miner which mines Caspa. So I'm gonna go through all that is needed for mining Caspa with one of these Bitmain KS5 Pros. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for showcasing this to you all. So let's begin. So if you bought a KS5 Pro, it's gonna come in a box like this and it will be wrapped around a anti-static bag such as this. It'll be nice and protected around foam, nice and thick foam when it comes to shipping one of these to your house. Now, you're gonna have to figure out where you wanna mine with something like this because it's gonna be a little bit loud and currently the decibel sound right now is about 75 decibels, okay? So with that in mind, wherever you are mining with one of these things, you gotta have space and also noise as a concern, okay? So it will be loud, so just be mindful of that if you are gonna be mining with one of these at home, per se, or maybe an apartment, which uh, might be too loud for those people that are mining in apartments. But anyways, the next thing to consider is you're gonna need the power infrastructure to be mining uh, with one of these KS5 Pros, okay? So the first thing that is needed actually before you buy one of these miners, you're gonna have to consider that you'll need a 240 volt 30 amp circuit, okay? Run into your house from the circuit panel and to the location where you're gonna be mining. For example, I have a few big boy ASIC miners here that have an exhaust fan where all the heat is going out and I have intake that is coming in from my garage so this is a typical kind of setup where if you were to mine at home and I have all the power infrastructure coming right to here, okay? 240 volt, 30 amp circuits and this is where I have them going into PDUs. Power distribution units like this, okay? So you can buy one of these from let's say nerdgears.com and they have actually a new PDU here with the L630P, which then goes into an L630R receptacle in the wall. You're gonna need a certified electrician to wire in a 240 volt, 30 amp circuit. So this will be plugging into the wall outlet that you just got in, 30 amp, 240 volt, and then you're gonna plug the Bitmain KS5, which does come with the power cable, okay, a P13 to a C20 cable. And that's gonna, then you're gonna be plugging that into the PDU itself, okay? So that's how you are gonna be powering the Bitmain KS5 Pro, okay? So power infrastructure is very, very important to understand. Next, you're gonna need internet, okay? Ethernet connectivity, okay? So wherever you are mining, you're gonna need wired internet. There is no Wi-Fi on these types of miners, okay? So make sure you have the ability to have internet and it's wired accordingly to wherever you are mining. All right, so it's just those two things to plug into the KS5 Pro, power and internet. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is want to set this thing up. So there's a lot of things that also you're gonna need in terms of configuring the Bitmain KS5 Pro, okay? You're gonna need a wallet, a hardware wallet, okay? Or something that where you're gonna wanna store your Caspa. So one of the best ways I do that is with Tangem, okay? Tangem Wallet is a cold storage solution where there are three cards with two backup cards and this is where it has Caspa, okay? So this is where I am mining to a Caspa address uh, that is on the Tangem cards and they look like like this, okay? It's something that you can just tap on your phone to send your crypto because the private keys are on here. So you are your own self-custodian of your Caspa on these tangent cards, okay? The cold storage solution. So now, once you got your wallet solution for you know holding your Caspa, you're gonna wanna set this thing up, okay? So let's talk about that now in the computer. Okay, so we are in just on a regular Windows PC. So we need to get the IP address of the Bitmain KS5 Pro. So I downloaded a free software called Advanced IP Scanner. Alternatively, you can log into your router, your home router, and you can get the IP address that way. You know, there's many ways to do it, but I like using Advanced IP Scanner. It's a freeware software to download and it will just scan your network in terms of the IP addresses that are on the same network. So you're gonna need to figure out just which IP it is and just by doing that, just by scanning the network, okay? 
So I only have a few devices on this network, so I know that it's this 100-100-137. So you're going to want to copy that IP, go to any web browser, and you're just going to want to copy that in and go to the web GUI of the Bitmain KS5 Pro. Very easy, okay, in order to access it so that we can configure this. Now, you're going to be prompt with the username and password, so it's root and root. That's the default username and password. And, uh, oh, looks like it's making a liar out of me. Root and root again. Okay, and we're in. Okay, so now we're going to go to settings on the left here, and this is where we're going to input our pool, wallet address, and the password, which is, it can be anything. So this is where now we need to find out which mining pool we want to go to, okay? So to keep CASPA decentralized, which is the most fundamental thing regarding any proof of work blockchain, is that we want to keep the hash rate off of like the big pools that have most of the hash rate already. So for instance, we want to mine to a lower hash rate pool just to decentralize the network. So for this example, I'm just going to choose, uh, let's, we're just going to choose cryptex.com, okay? It's a mining pool, which you guys can choose any one that you'd like, but preferably one that has lower hash rate so you can decentralize. It doesn't matter. Um, you're, you're not going to get more profit than the other. There's no such thing like that because, you know, every pool has, uh, depending on its hash rate, you know, and luck factor, generally all of them are going to get the same amount of caspa anyway so it doesn't matter which mining pool you want that you're on it's best to decentralize the hash rate so let's try cryptex okay i'm going to show you guys an example of cryptex.com this is where we're going to copy the pool address okay so majority of the mining pools out there will have a you know start mining information so you're going to need the pool okay and the port number here so just hit the copy button here or you can highlight it and do it that way instead. So we're going to go back then to the web GUI of the Bitmain KS5 Pro and copy it uh, in here. Okay, actually you want to make sure you keep the stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. Paste it right there. Okay, so that's the mining pool done. Now, some mining pools do have backup pools in which you can also copy that in as well and paste it in there. Okay, and you also want to copy the stratum uh, TCP as well. Okay, actually this is going to be in, in this case because this one says SSL port, so this is going to be TCP uh, SSL, okay? So you will see a different port name on this one, so we're just going to type in, not TCP, it's going to be SSL on this one, okay? So then you can also copy the first one to the, the third pool here, just, just to have it as a backup. I know it is the same pool, but some pools, they actually do have three different uh, pool addresses or different ports, okay, so that you, as a backup, okay? so. That's, that's why there's pool one, pool two, pool three, so that there's backups. Now, you're going to want to get your Caspa address from your hardware wallet, such as a Tangem or whichever other wallet that you want uh, that, that's out there right now in terms of Caspa wallets. I highly recommend getting a Tangem wallet. You don't have to get a Red Panda one, but if you do get a Tangem one, use code RPM for 10% off. And uh, these things is where, you know, you want to be your own stuff's custodian of your, of your crypto, all right? And, you know, these wallets, it's good to have it because you're not relying on a centralized entity like a, an exchange or a web wallet, someone else controlling the keys. You want to be your own self-custodian for your crypto, okay? Self-custody. Okay, so once you get your receiving address from your Casper wallet, whichever wallet that you do choose, you're going to want to copy that into the miner name, okay? So this is where this wallet address is going to be uh, pasted in here for the miner name. Now, if you want to distinguish a worker name, you can just type in like KS5 Pro 01, all right? And you're going to want to copy that to all the other pools as well. The password, it could just be X. It can, it's optional. You don't have to put anything, but I always put X or 123. But yep, just verify that you have no extra spaces or anything uh, in the miner name, make sure there's no extra spaces in the mining addresses. Then once you're all done, hit save. And that's it. You are now going to be mining Caspa. Okay, it's going to go to the pool. So it's going to take actually a couple minutes for it to show up on the mining pool. And I will show you guys an example of doing that simply by copying the your receiving Caspa address. You're going to go to the mining pool. 
you're going to go to their uh, dashboard or uh, they should have a search function of where uh, you can see your, en so here, enter your mining address. So we're going to enter that right there. We're going to hit enter here and you can see, oh, it's already connected. Uh, KS5 Pro 01. Oh yeah, it's already connected to, uh, already getting some valid shares already. So that was really fast. Cryptex.com is really fast. So there you guys go. So over time, you guys will see your Caspa accumulating here in the balance and it will pay out to your whichever wallet that you're using, such as a Tangent, okay? So there you guys go. Dashboard here, you can see, it looks like it just started mining. It's showing now accepted shares. That's really good, okay? Refresh this. Over time, you'll see the hash rate numbers starting to uh, accumulate and show up on the mining pool of your choice, okay? So that's great, good stuff, guys. That's it, so that's how you start mining with the KS5 Pro. Pretty easy, right? Let's go back out. Okay, so there you guys go. That's the how-to video on how to mine on a new Bitmain KS5 Pro mining Caspa. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions or concerns, put it down below. All the links are down below for what we talked about today. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. Go check them out. Use coupon code REDPANDA for $70 off if you guys are interested in purchasing a Bitmain KS5 Pro or any other ASICs that are available on their website. All right, everyone, have a good one and peace out, peace out.